Hello beautiful people, I've got something cool to show you. Hello beautiful people and welcome to a different video. I don't normally do this, but this is just a quick update video slash unboxing. I'll have a proper video coming up pretty soon and this is a sweet antique chair. It's probably between 150 to 100 years old. So I'll try to do that as soon as I can. But um, before I'm not able to post a proper video with a laser that I just got from Xtool, I wanted to make a quick update and let you know that they're actually running a discount for Father's Day. So if you want to buy this, I'll post the link in the description with a discount. This is also a chance to answer some of the questions and address some of the things that come up in the comments. So I thought it would be a good way to do it. And I just got interrupted by a cat. <laughs> I think he wants a snack. Be right back. So just to clarify, X2 is not a sponsor of my channel. They don't pay me to say anything. They don't pay me for using their machines in videos, but they do send me those machines for free. And I don't work with companies that I don't like. I get lots of emails from companies about lasers and all sorts of other things that I just ignore or say no to. But I've worked with x for a long time and I'm very happy with their products. So because they were kind enough to send this machine, which is not very cheap, I also want to do something for them. Hence this video. So I got this huge package from x and this is their new P2 CO2 laser. And if you know anything about lasers, there are many different kinds. And the most popular ones are the diode lasers, which are very limited as far as the type of materials they can cut through. And this is why I kept this cupboard, because the idea was to put it on top of it. All right, so let's get to it. This is a proper piece of kit, and as all of the other X2 lasers that I've worked with, looks great, it's very nicely put together, and it looks very well made. This is huge. This 55 watt CO2 laser can engrave on curved surfaces. It auto-detects surface and thickness of a material. It can engrave on many things at the same time and has built-in air assist. Looks perfect. It's just, the cupboard is just wide enough for the laser. So the main difference between diode laser and CO2 laser is that this one is actively cooled with water and unlike some diode lasers you don't actually need to put it together because it already comes assembled but there are some things you need to do before you can actually start using it. And the most important thing is that you need to fill the system with water and antifreeze depending on where you live and what the temperature is like. Otherwise, it won't work. There is actually an easier way to do what I've just done. There is a tray underneath that you can just take out and remove the whole thing. But I was just being a bit thick. Anyway, so this back panel, you need to remove it in order to fill the tank with water. And that's what it looks like. And the quick start guide tells you exactly the ratio of the antifreeze to distilled water, depending on the lowest temperature where you live. I have watched several videos on YouTube because I've heard that this is a bit complicated and if you've never had a CO2 laser, you might not want to do this, but it actually isn't. This is actually pretty simple and if you follow the instructions, it's not difficult at all. And next to even put stickers on all the screws you need to remove in order to take the back panel off. So it's very straightforward. What I really like about this laser is that it's enclosed and it comes with a hose so I can actually vent all the fumes and the smoke 
out of my workshop so I can use it and be in the workshop at the same time. Don't need to wear a mask and worry about the smoke. I do have an extension for the hose because it just isn't long enough. But yeah, it also has a safety lock. So when you actually put the lid down, it will lock it so you can't open it while it's being used. I just wanted to give it a quick test run and see if it worked and it did but I did need to calibrate it a little bit because it just wasn't perfect and it's not very difficult. As I said I'll make a proper video and I'll show you how you can use it and what you can do with it if you're interested in buying this laser. As I said there's a special deal going on for Father's Day and I'll put the link in the description. Let's address the elephant in the room. <laughs> People don't like to talk about it, but I feel like it's necessary. So about the ads and sponsorships and memberships and Patreon and all the other things. Huh. YouTube is becoming more and more difficult to have as the only source of income just because there's so much competition and there are people using AI, ChatGPT, and just all sorts of things to create content in a very short time. They get lots of views, and it's very difficult to compete with that if you want to do it the traditional way. If you're not a content creator, you probably don't even realize it, but that's just what's happening. As a creator, I get paid based on the views. One video can perform very well and get lots of views, and the next video can perform very poorly. I cannot predict it. I wish I could. Everyone who makes videos on YouTube, they wish they could predict it, but you just can't. So if you put out two or three videos per month and two of them don't perform well, you don't really make any money. And if this is your only job, you know, you've got a problem. So this is why YouTubers have memberships and Patreons and buy me coffees and all sorts of other things to make it more reliable, predictable and so we don't need to think about pleasing the algorithm and making content that will perform well rather than content that I actually enjoy making and I want to make. I hope this makes sense. This is also why we have sponsored videos and there are lots of tools that I wouldn't be able to buy just because they're very expensive. But if I can get a discount or if I can get it free from a company in exchange for a video that I make anyway <laughs> and I use those machines anyway and all they ask me to do is talk about it and showcase it and it's a machine that I want to have anyway it's not a lot to ask from me. People spend many days, sometimes weeks, trying to come up with a video that you will enjoy and all they ask from you is to just watch a couple ads doesn't cost anything, it's just a few minutes of your time. You don't even need to pay attention. And the most important thing you can do actually, as a viewer, is to watch the entire video because the algorithm has lots of metrics and pays attention to what percentage of the video you watch. And based on that, the algorithm will recommend the video to other people or not. Obviously, liking, commenting, and subscribing, that helps a lot because it's a form of engagement and the algorithm looks at that and determines that you must like the channel and the content because you've engaged. So therefore, it will recommend the video to other people. So if you want to be helpful and support the creator, but you don't want to spend any money because you don't have to. If you can, that's wonderful, but you don't need to. There are other ways you can support content creators on YouTube. Just watch the whole video or just let it run through or watch it twice or share it, like, subscribe, comment. It's all free. I hope it all makes sense and I hope you understand my perspective and how it works. This is why most YouTubers have Patreons and sponsors and all sorts of things is because you can't really make a living from being a YouTuber despite of what people think unless you do all those things. You sell your merch or you sell whatever, you have Patreon accounts and sponsors and all sorts of things. Because YouTube isn't predictable, reliable and videos perform 
sometimes well, sometimes not very well, and you just never know. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, even though it was a bit different. As I mentioned, I'll have a new proper video coming up soon. Until then, I hope this makes sense. Thank you for watching. I hope this was okay and you enjoy this type of content. Stay tuned for the chair restoration, which is probably going to happen next week. I'll try to make it as soon as I can. And until then, stay beautiful and take care.